Hello and welcome to the support video for workload automation video series. In this video, I will demonstrate the process of updating timezone.dat files for daylight savings information changes. This demonstration will be performed on a Control M Enterprise Manager version 9.0.18. The timezone.dat file is used by jobs that have timezone scheduling defined in the job definition. If you have a Control M job that is scheduled in a country where daylight savings is observed, it is necessary to update the timezone.dat file. Whenever there's a change in the daylight savings time each year, the timezone.dat file needs to be updated for these Control M components. Control M server, Control M Enterprise Manager Server and Control M Enterprise Manager Client. In the demo, we will look at an example of how to update the timezone.dat file. Before we make any updates, let's view a normal job definition and select the timezone scheduling drop down button. When you click on the drop down, you will see all the regular time zone for the countries listed. It does not have any daylight savings adjustments. The chosen daylight savings time for this example is the London time zone, GMT plus 00. For daylight savings in year 2020, it will begin on the 29th of March at 1am and ends on the 25th of October 2am. The syntax of the daylight savings adjustments is as indicated on the slide. Where the from and to values indicate the time frame of the daylight savings in effect. The GMT value on the end indicates the daylight savings time offset relative to the regular GMT time zone for that country. Let's proceed to update the timezone.dat files from the location specified and add the DST adjustments accordingly. Let's start with the Control M server component. Navigate to the Control M server location of the timezone.dat file and add the daylight savings adjustment next to the London GMT value, as indicated in this demo. After adding the adjustment, save the file. Verify that the adjustment is saved. Do the same updates on the timezone.dat files for the rest of the location specified. The same updates were done on the EM server locations, so I will show you the results here. This is the ETC CLI data location, and this is the data validation location. For the final update location, we go to the Enterprise Manager client and perform the same update to the timezone.dat file. Navigate to the default data folder and update the timezone.dat file with the daylight savings adjustment as shown. After the file updates, restart the Control M server and close all GUI client sessions and relaunch the GUI client for the changes to take effect. After the restart, we can now see the daylight savings adjustments in the time zone scheduling drop down button. Please refer to the online documentation links below for daylight savings and time zone support information. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.